concerns of privateer FX. Coming at you on Wednesday here, the 8th of May. RBNZ cut rates. 25 BP, as we all saw. Tricky little trade there. So we're 66 to figure. 65 and a quarter. And then right back up to 75. And now we're squeezing here at 90. Um, still super early for on this daily bar, so you don't want to get too too bent out of shape. Uh, this is a sell, we think. There will be some stops above the figure here. Uh, if you're going to sell Kiwi now, just wait for these stops to be done. Um, you can put your own stop above. Um, above 35, 66, 35, so you want to sell maybe 05s and 15s. Uh, worst case, this will doji today and close at 90, I think. Uh, although, if stocks go negative, um, this should head back down lower. Anyway, Kiwi's cut. Uh, that's in the rear view mirror. Let's look forward on what's going to happen today in Europe. Sterling Yen, as we talked about yesterday, is happening. Um, let's pull up the Sterling Yen chart. 67 has been the low. We put on some shorts last night to kind of front run this. Um, tough now because the, the the pure break trade through 75 or through 80 um, doesn't really work here and this was all dollar yen driven typically we like sterling yen to be sterling driven um, so a little bit tough here obviously if you're short at 144.09 just leave it um, and see how this thing goes if you're going to try and trade a break trade here um, you know you just have to be disciplined and see how things look through the lows. Um, obviously, if news drives this, it's better. If there's political news, which I don't pretend to understand, uh, that would be nice. If it's, you know, MPC guy like Ramsden speaking today at 10.15, he's probably not going to say too too much um, or if the German industrial production at 8 o'clock goes super bad um, or if we get a massive uh, risk off trade news makes it more powerful um, we'll just have to see it's pretty tricky here Sterling Yen is notoriously tricky uh, and what we're looking for today is obviously a a hourly close and then a four hourly and then a daily close below 75 uh, lots of fresh air below here um, so let's keep an eye on this chart today like we said yesterday do believe there's some money to be made here let's go to dollar yen which is in this downtrend um, these are interesting lows here uh, 109.70 which was the low uh, in March below that is very similar to the lows in um, Sterling Yen, right? Lots of fresh air below that. And the next support doesn't come in until 108.50. And then you're off to the races. Dollar Yen looks like in a very steady, steady downtrend. Um, don't think you're going to get a chance to sell any really good high ones today. So if you haven't, uh, if you're not on board with this, I suggest you just wait for a 70 print and then a bounce. Um, and then maybe attack that 109.70 area. No point in chasing this on a Wednesday where there's not much going on as far as releases. As I said, German industrial production at 8 will be interesting for the Euro people. Um, we do have Brainard speaking uh, at 2.30 Swiss time. Um, but no U.S. or real serious Euro data out today, so we'll just be taking our cues from the oil market and the equities market. 
uh, but dollar yen is on a down downtrend. Euro, as we talked about yesterday, is just stuck 111.50, 112.50 until Friday. Um, just fade either extremes and equities. Tough, another tough sort of indecisive day. Down 70 handles to 64. Up 30 handles to close to 90. Here we are at 93. Um, we still have our bear hats on. Incredibly tricky. We're going to be selling high ones. Um, we have some core shorts on. The problem with selling high ones, right? I mean, yesterday's high was 40 handles from here. So just got to got to pick your pick your point maybe 05 maybe 08 you got to size this correctly cuz your stop really has to be above 40 um so if you can't even afford to trade one one future you got to go to the SPY contracts which are one fifth of one future um I know there are some retail guys listening here, so it, it's tough. Um, if you don't have access to E-mini futures, it's tough. Um, and if you can't afford it, don't trade it, right? Just wait. I mean, maybe just wait till 38 trades. If it trades, sell some. If it doesn't trade, just leave it. Um, there will be other opportunities more clear uh, in ES going forward, but our bear hats are still on totally comment driven which makes it so insanely hard um, but we're gonna try and stick with this uh, and see see what we can come up with in ES that's really all I got today folks will be on sterling yen uh, and ES watching the other metrics to see how we go we will be fading high ones in Euro if we get up near 112.50. Um, and that's that's what we got today. Good luck out there, people. Make, make loads of dough. Why not? Go for it. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.